Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I have a subscriber request. So now in this video today, we're going to talk about what happens when you pick the second choice, which is trailer. It opens up this screen, which is a preview. And at the bottom, you will see different examples of movie trailer styles. So there's about 14 that it comes with. Sometimes it takes a while to load because it has to download example photos and example movie clips. So that way you can pick one and hit the play. It will begin to show you an example of what the trailer could look like. So that's the little bit of swashbuckler preview. So since I want my tutorials to be quick and easy to understand, I'm going to select this one, coming of age, which is, I believe, graduation. Okay, so that's an example. Looks like a story of a baby, and then they will graduate from either college or high school. So if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for spending time with me today. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe so you know when I drop new content. Let's begin. In the upper right, touch create. And again, in the upper right, we have two little tabs to flip through. On the left says outline. You can edit this title to reflect anything you want it to say. And then storyboard. This is often what happens before a movie is filmed and then produced. So to teach you what's happening, I will play the example trailer, but only for a short while. Okay, touch play. Go to the first slide. The next title. First photo, second photo, third photo, fourth photo, fifth photo. The text. So as you can see, this is a sort of movie trailer wizard where you plug in the text, plug in your video clips or your photos. It could be either or. It doesn't have to be only video clips or still photo images. It could be either or or a combination of both. So let's dive right in. Let's start at the top. Let's customize this. Our studio will be Happy Studios. Then we'll touch the first block. It opens up the menu to find your video or you can do photos. I'm going to stick with photos to show just how easy it is to begin and finish out this process. So using my Apple Pen, I drew some pictures. This one calls for medium. I will touch medium. Now you can see automatically it jumped to the next photo, but I'm going to go back to the text. I'm going to change this to story beginning. Done. And now we'll touch the next photo. That will be number one. Automatically goes to the second spot. Two, three, four, and the fifth photo. It goes to the next video clip area, but I want to change the text so we can see exactly what's happening. So here I will write message one. The next one calls for wide, so I will touch wide. Then it calls for medium. Let me touch the medium. And then I will change this text to message two. Moving right along, we'll touch the next video clip it asks for. Group. These are pictures that I've drawn again. This one calls for two shot. I named it duo and then wide. Oops, forgot to change the words. Message three. Then moving on to the next column, we will take this out. And what we're doing is we're making this into our own. Message four, and that's far enough. So now I'm gonna go back to the top. I'm going to click on the first line, and then I'm gonna hit play. And let's see what our work does. <laughs>
Okay, so as you can see, even though we've only filled these little boxes with just some generic photos that I drew, the transition and the music and the timing and the sound, that is what makes the trailer have feeling. So now that you can see how easy it is to plug in your own information, your own images, your own video clips to make your trailer, let me jump into one more example of their movie trailers. Since it's October, let me pick the scary one. So if I go in the upper right and hit create, we go to the storyboard. And again, we can see the black and white position indicators. There's a lot more in this one. And what it looks like in the example. So once you plug your information in there, the little static and scary sounds for this particular trailer will translate over to your own video. So find yourself a movie trailer style that you think you may want to experiment with. In the upper right, hit create, plug in your own images change the words to any message you want to say. Then with a lot of creativity, you can have your own outstanding trailer. This is a time consuming project and it will take creativity. It will take a lot of trial and error, experimentation, what works, what doesn't really work. And it will be fun the whole way. So now let's go to the other tab that says outline. Here, like all of the other areas, you can customize the information to whatever you want it to be. So we will call this our journey, for example. We just changed the movie title. This is the names by default that they gave the cast in the trailer. As you can see, the Happy Studios, which we typed into the other one, translates over here. Now this screen here, this is for the credits. At the end of all of these trailers, there's a credits area. So I'll play this now so we can see our changes and the names of those cast members. And then I'll fast forward to the credit screen so you can see the credits. Okay, there you saw the credit screen. You saw that it was a bunch of directed by me, edited by me, the word me, 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 me. You can change all that to anything you wanted to say. You can call it the name of your pet, the name of a sibling or relative or a friend. So in summary, you go use the storyboard to plug in your photos or video clips. You're going to need to make your own video clips. And as you can see, they have a recommended. This one is 1.5 seconds, 1.2 seconds, 1.2 seconds. This is all for timing, 1.2 seconds, 1.7 seconds. You can make this however you want to make this. And then once you're done plugging in all of your own individualized clips or still images. You edit all of your other movie information. And then when you're done, in the upper left, we tap done. And here, just like the other movie files, you can change this name. This is not going to affect the movie. This is the title of the file name. First, try. That does not change what the trailer will look like. And there we have it. So now at the very bottom center, you have three choices. You can play it in full screen, the middle to save, and on the right, you can delete it into the trash can. Now, I recommend you save it. This will export the movie, and this will make it into a completed file. Because always remember, when you're working in iMovie, you're working on a project. As you're editing, nothing is really happening to the original copies of your film or photos. You're just telling iMovie what you want to do eventually, once you hit export. Okay, so now that completed file has been exported and is complete. But if you wanted to, just touch edit and then jump right back in and go back into the storyboard. Change things around, add things, change the text, change the words. You can do whatever you like to on your movie using the iMovie video editor. So we didn't get to see that example. So let's play this and see what it could look like once complete with real pictures from your own libraries of creativity.
Windows transition and timing again, once you plug in your information, your own still images or video clips, all of that will become yours and you will have an awesome trailer before you know it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you. Okay, the tutorial is over, but I'm going to add some technical info at the end so you may disregard. This video was filmed and recorded on the Apple iPad, 9th generation, running iOS 15. This tutorial was edited and produced using iMovie.